Hi, welcome back to my channel, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cruising with Goldie. Yes, guys, you must be thinking I'm with my new hairstyle. Yes, I was losing my hair because it's so cold, and I don't know what happened, but I was started losing my hair. So the best thing I can do, and I just cut off my hair. So the so forget all that. So now what I'm gonna do is this episode is all about the video which you've been requesting from ages. Yes, I am going to make a video on security, ship cruise security. So I don't want to waste more time. As usual, I make my video point by point, so you can understand what exactly you have to do to become a security officer on a cruise. So. I will tell you in this video. So without wasting time, let's start this video. Number one. Now I'm going to talk about what is the minimum qualification you require to work as a security officer on board. It's graduation. Yes, guys, minimum qualification is graduation, but people who have not done graduation don't get disheartened because every company has a different policy this all information about the security i took it from from one of my friend who's working as a security officer on board maybe his company requirement is graduation and you might get lucky where the minimum qualification is 10 pass so we can't say much about it but for now we'll stick to minimum qualification is graduation Number two, what is the maximum age limit to work as a security officer? So the answer is 45 years old. Guys, yes, people who have like done like in their early 40s, so even they can apply. But you have, you should have proper experience to apply for it. In experience section, I will explain you what experience you require to apply as a security officer for the for now. The age limit is 45 years old to you can apply as a security officer on board. Uh, three. What kind of a professional course you need to do before going on board and working as a security officer and guys and everyone, even girls work as a security officer for both of you will be very happy and surprised to know there is no specific course you need to do. It's like same STCW, that's it. But in addition to this, you need to know certain things, which is X-ray machine. If you've been on airport, you have seen this big X-ray machine in hotels also nowadays, they have X-ray machine and pe scanning people, certain things, that's it you don't have to have a certain degree as a security officer if you have then it's well and good if you don't have it's also okay. so guys now i'll talk about number four in number four i'll talk about two things first is experience second is from where you can get this experience from yes so first we'll talk about experience so one of my friend who's working on board as a security officer he told me minimum three years of experience you require to work as a security officer on board if you are a fresher no so guys three years of experience now second question is from where you can get this experience from so good news for them who 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 are ex army person military air force any defense who has any defense background they can always join as a security officer but now you'll be thinking okay now i i don't have any defense background so can i apply as a security officer yes you can then you'll need to have an experience at airport big hotels you know where there is uh, x-ray machine screenings and all so you can also apply if you have this kind of experience so number four is experience and from where you can get this experience from now we'll talk about number five and number five is money 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 yes guys salary how much is a security officer's salary per month so it depends again company to company but consider as from it start from 1100 and it can goes up to 1600 now don't don't ask me like where i can get 1100 and where you can get a 1600 it purely depend on the company on what salary basis they want to take you as a security officer so but minimum you'll earn around 11 to 1200 to 1600 
so this is your salary structure on board as a security office now we'll talk about number six and in number six we'll talk about promotion yes guys when you'll get promoted because everyone wants to grow in the life so when will be your promotion so don't get too excited it depends again person to person and company to company but minimum i will say two to three years it can't happen within one year or two years two to three contracts it will at least take for you to get promoted to the next level so two to three years for a promotion so guys now we'll talk about number seven and in number seven we'll talk about your work duty on board as a security officer so i will bifurcate in this into two part one is a four day second one as a c day so what you're going to do in this two different days start with four day as a security officer guys you will hate four days i will tell you that i mean if the ship is docking by eight o'clock you need to be ready by six morning six o'clock okay set up the gangway now what you need to do you need to bring the chairs the uh, the scanning machine where people like scan it and go outside you need to bring the x-ray machine if you've been to an airport you have seen the big x-ray machine you need to set up that and check if all the standard is properly maintained stand outside in sunny day cold day rainy day one of the person will stand out there two person it depend on the port to port whole day standing it's not like a whole day standing people will give you a break one will go another one will come keep checking the passenger who's coming in who's not coming in okay um always check the lanyards like your um, security cards the one which the employee cards and for passenger the room keys and everything the photo id proof so it's there is lot 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 of work you must be thinking it's less but just imagine see i'm not scaring you but i'm giving you the detailed information if you check one person like this okay hold go second beep 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 beep, beep. oh okay go so just imagine if you bend this like thousand times your back will ache so there is a lot of standing also and a lot of hard work on a port day now we'll talk about the sea day guys you will love sea day on a sea day it's a less work first thing because you don't have to set up you don't have to check you don't have to stand so it's it's kind of a holiday for you your duty on a sea day is like there is a room the video security room so one of the security guy will sit in that room and just check all the monitors i mean the, the cctv which we have they have the monitor just monitoring okay this everything is fine other people will just stand in a passenger area and look around like if everything is followed properly if nothing is going wrong second person will just patrol one a point a to point b so it's very less work and there will be more other work but it won't be heavy such as heavy work and you have to do you'll get ample of breaks and you will love it and you will remember this video this guy was saying that oh my god i love this guy because he told me this is a holiday for us and he was damn right so it is like a holiday for you but the port day again i'm telling you you have to do lot lot of work this is a small video about the security officer if you like this video please share comment and like my channel okay and uh, i'll keep making such videos so bye from cruising with cold